Hi fans of high quality entertainment. I was going to do a rant video today and then I'm just not in a funny mood, okay? <laughs> what I thought I would do is, you know, every year, uh, you know, I have my CD collection and I've, I've said this before, there, there's times uh, uh, certain albums will sit in my CD collection for months on end and sometimes even years on end without me listening to it. And so these albums, just in the past year, year or so, I just have a new appreciation for. Uh, you know, I, I might have liked all of these, but like I said, in, in with fresh, you know, listening with fresh ears, it's like, oh my God, this is better than I remember it being. So you can probably tell from the thumbnail I'm going to use that one of them is McCartney 3. I hadn't played this in probably over a year, and I listened to it about a month ago, and it is so good. And, you know, of course you have to get used to his, uh, his voice. It's a lot uh, different than it used to be, of course, you know. But I really, really love the album. Yeah, Lavatory Lil, Slidem, Deep Down, Find My Way. Just all really, really good songs. And hopefully Paul has a new album in the works. So there's 13 albums I'm going to go through. Another one. Uh, I had this when I was much younger, in the early 70s, and I, I just never totally got into it. And then, thanks to Spotify, you know, there is there are good things about Spotify, and I was listening to this album on Spotify for the first time in years, and it's like, oh my god, I love this. It is Coliseum Valentine Sweet, and Glenn Calloway from the basement is a big fan of this album, too. If you love jazz rock, I highly recommend Valentine's Sweet. And this is a double. Uh, there's a UK version and a US version. The US version is The Grass is Greener. So there are some different songs on each of the albums. But it's all great stuff. Yeah, once again, uh, this album I was listening to on Spotify, and I hadn't heard it in a few years. And I always thought it was like a mediocre kind of album, wasn't, wasn't that great. But once again, I loved it on Spotify. I ended up buying the full box set of The Clash, and the album I'm talking about is Give M Enough Rope their second album. And as you know, I am a huge fan of Sparks, but still, you know, with all of their over, what, 25 albums, 26, 27, uh, there are certain ones that I won't play for a year or two or three, you know, because I, I played them so much. And this one I hadn't listened to for quite a long time. And it just kind of made me realize it's, it's even a better album than I thought it was. And it is Sparks in Outer Space. Great production, great songs. Totally 80s man, but good 80s. Yeah, and this band I've, I've talked about recently they just, I wish they, they had more respect because they were a real band. They weren't using studio musicians. And uh, I, I have their greatest hits in just this one studio album, but I definitely want to get more of Three Dog Night, suitable for framing. <laughs> yeah, and this band, 
uh, I've loved for years and years and years, but, you know, they're sitting near the bottom of my CD rack here. And there would be years that would go by and I wouldn't listen to their albums. And then this past year, I've really been listening to them a lot. And there's one, uh, the, the final album with the original lead singer, I don't think I ever played all the way through until recently because I'd heard it wasn't as good as their earlier albums, but it is as good as their earlier albums. And it is The Undertones, Sin of Pride, the final album with Fergal Sharkey. And then there's Positive Touch, of course. Yeah, I've been listening to The Undertones a lot lately. What a great band. I'm a huge fan of Yes. Uh, and I, I also love their later albums like, you know, Key Studio Mag Magnification. But this one particular album, I just never totally got into. I thought it was good, but I, I didn't understand all of the uh, great reviews for it, you know, from some, some fans. But this year, I finally truly appreciated the latter. I'll never say that about Open Your Eyes or Union. <laughs> and similar to The Undertones, another band that's been in my CD collection for many, many, many years. And I do love them, but I would rarely listen to the albums. But this year I've been listening to them a lot. And once again, there was a certain album that I didn't think was as good as their earlier ones. So I never even attempted to listen to it. And then when I did, I was very impressed. It is the sensational Alex Harvey Band with Rock Drill. I have the complete discography of this band. And, well, this is kind of, it's considered their second album, and it's also kind of considered their debut because I think certain band members uh, don't consider their first album to be their debut. They're, they're that embarrassed by it. But it's, it's an okay album. But this one, once again, I thought it was just good. But in the past year, I think it's very underrated. And it is Genesis, Trespass. Yep, going back to Spotify again, uh, probably about a year ago, I was checking out this band on Spotify, and I had uh, the one album. I, I bought it when it came out, and I just thought, once again, it was, it was okay. I wasn't that impressed with it. But listening to it on Spotify, with fresh ears, it was like, this is really good. And so I bought, and it's like two albums in, on one CD, the Edgar Wright Group, and it's actually this album here, Shock Treatment. And then, of course, the only come out at night is the other one with their big hit Frankenstein on it and, uh, yeah, Free Ride. Great band. It's like I owe these albums an, an, an apology. <laughs> now this album, I love. I've always loved it. But I don't think I listened to it for over a year until just recently. And then I realized why I love it so much. and. You know, it's kind of like, why am I not playing this more? It is the Dukes of Stratosphere. And this is the, the complete collection of their uh, EP and their album. And everything on it, and there's like Blu-ray and everything. Uh, yeah, 5.1 mixes. 
2019 stereo instrumental, which I don't think I've ever played, and then um, demos, but, and of course, they are XTC, going under the name of the Dukes of Stratosphere, and it is so good. If you love uh, 60s, you know, kind of psych psychedelic type music, similar to, you know, the Magical Mystery Tour kind of sound, I highly recommend the Dukes of Stratosphere. Yeah, it, it includes 25 o'clock and then Sonic Sunspot, I believe it's called, and later recordings. I know that Glenn Kellaway is a fan too. Two more to go. Now this band, they sit right near the top and years would go by, I wouldn't even, and I think I have five, six of their albums. Years would go by. I may play one album once in a while, but that, that was about it. But uh, these remastered albums came out and they are just so good. It is Alice Cooper Killer. And I also have Schools Out Remastered. It came out this year. And this includes uh, some live tracks. Yeah, the, the one album I, I would play once in a while is uh, Easy Action. But I never played, you know, Schools Out or Killer or the other ones. Bill, Billion Dollar Babies is the other one I have. But great album. And I played it a lot this year. Yeah, and the other one, once again, it would sit in my collection for years and years and years. You know, I would like it or love it enough not to ever sell it, but I wouldn't listen to it. And then in the last year, I've been listening to quite a bit of Joe Cocker. Yeah, I have his first album, his second album, his greatest hits. And I would really love to get... Uh, I think it's from 1970, 1971. It's simply called Joe Cocker. But in, I think in America it was called Something to Say. Uh, yeah, it's just a, a record I had on vinyl back in the day, and I would like to have that on CD. But some of those songs are on uh, the greatest hits, like Woman to Woman and other ones. Uh, High Time We Went. Yeah, great songs. What a great, great artist. Joe Cocker. Respect. And that is it. You know, every year, you know, like next year, there's going to be maybe some albums I haven't played or bands I haven't really listened to for the last year or two, and I'll become fans again of certain albums in my CD collection. It's the joy of music. So... Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.